Okay, so we're back with this um, script. Again, looking at the script that we have here, um, if we were to run it, um, we can basically create the skeleton and then kind of reposition things to fit our character, then create the rig. Um, obviously, that's not what fits the character, but just being able to demonstrate kind of what's going on. Um, and the defaults right now, I'm just creating it on the character to make it a little bit easier to kind of work with. Then we have this additional script that just clears everything for us. Um, okay, that's fine. I double clicked on accident. Okay, so now I want to make the create skeleton a little bit more user friendly. So right now with the create joints, I have all this happening here. And um, I wanna make sure that all of the center uh, objects here, all the center joints, so if we run this, skeleton all these joints here um, that we can see that have C underscore um, don't move off of the center line so let's um, update this let's make this a little bit bigger to make it easier to see okay so What I want to do is on the UI, instead of create skeleton, what I want to do is just, um, let's do, let's call this create ten. Base. Okay. And then I'm going to do define create skeleton base. So this is going to be kind of the base skeleton that we want. And then the first thing is we create the skeleton. Then we're going to run another function is, um, let's call it lock uh, to center. And then we need to define that function as well. Define lock to center. And then in here, basically what we want to do is first select all of the center joints. So let's do MC dot select and then we're gonna say um, star capital C underscore star. Okay, so let's test this. So we create the skeleton in here. Um, let's actually delete everything really quick. Let's test the create skeleton. It is not doing anything. Uh, create skeleton. Let's, let's make sure, oh, because I don't have the open close parentheses. There we go. 
And let's test this. There we go. So, um, we selected everything, but we can see that the geometry a must have a C under it because it's the center. So let's adjust the script a little bit. So if we look at those um, center joints, we have um, underscore J and T and then whatever it ends in. So let's add that to this. Let's do underscore J and T underscore and then star. And then let's clear the scene and run all of this. Create skeleton. And here now we, we can see that we only select the um, joints. Um, let's look at the outliner really quick. You can see we have the joints selected. And let's turn on the shape nodes. Cool, so the joints don't have shape nodes. That is a great. Um, whereas if we had the geometry here, you'd see that we have a shape node. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's turn the shape nodes off. Let's turn the outliner off and let's go back to our script. Okay, so Let's create a variable um, selected J and T S. So selected joints is equal to MC dot L S. Dot L S. Dot ls, there we go. Um, sl equals true. Okay, so basically we're creating a variable that is based off of a list that is of all the selected items here. And then just so that we can see what we have in the list, let's say print cell J and T S. Okay. So let's run all of this. Let's clear the skeleton and create the joints. And we should be able to see that we are have an unordered list of all of these joints that are in the center. Okay, then I want to lock the uh, movement. So how do we lock the movement? So if we go here to this joint and we wanted to lock the X, which is what we want to do, we can right click lock and hide selected. And then let's look at the script that what it did for us. So we did a set adder. Lock equals true, keyable equals false. And um, channel box equals false. Okay. So that is what we got going on. Let's pause this. Okay, so that is what we want to do for each item inside of this list. We don't need to print this anymore. We know it is doing that. So we can say for joint uh, for joint T in our variable here. Okay. 
So for each item in this list that we created, we want to do something. We're going to say mc dot uh, set adder. Then we are going to say uh, jnt, which is our variable, comma. Then we want lock to equal true keyable to equal true and channel box to equal false. Okay. I'm going to save this so that we don't lose much. And let's run this and test this. So we can create the channel box. And then we did get an error. Um, so it says no attribute was selected because I have the name of the selected item, but I need to tell it which channel, which is the TX. Um, so let's just check this really quick. Uh, I don't remember if it's, I think it's lowercase TX. So we're going to say plus dot tx and then we can clear our scene and then let's run all of this okay so we create the joints and we can see that it worked. So if we select any of these joints here, we can not move it away on the X in any direction, but we can move it on the um, Y and the Z. Okay, so let's clear these joints. So that locks the um, center of the joints. Okay, then the create joint, this is what we have right now for the create joint. Um, actually, let's save that for another video. Here, this is all working correctly. Um, so let's stop this video here, and then we'll add a little bit more functionality in the next video.